Ever with an infectious smile was James Morana. Even when the topic NTV was discussing with him at that time was a battle against an industry in which he invested his time and knowledge. We in tobacco, we believe we are in a legalized business. The Ministry of Health has developed warning labels that are currently on all cigarette packages, warning about the public about the dangers of tobacco use. So it is by choice those who are taking it. Yes, that was Morana, a true defender for the companies he was associated with. He was the non-executive chairman of British American Tobacco, a position he held for about 20 years. It is no wonder that he earned the tag industrialist. Talking about him in the past says one thing. The business magnet is now dead at age 76. He passed on this morning at around 5 a.m. Now no more is he to stand for any of his empires. His journey in business started as early as 1961 in the import and export business. His genius saw him establish Nice House of Plastics in 1970. It used to be called Ship Toothbrush Limited. It is known for plastics including ball pens, toothbrushes and household items like basins. In 1988, he founded Jessa Mixed Farm, which expanded to Jessa Farm Dairy Limited in 1994, processing milk, yogurt, butter and cream. Still in 1988, he helped revive Uganda Manufacturers Association, which he served as chairman. In 1991, he took over Uganda Batteries Limited, and in 1992, his horticultural farming abilities were witnessed with the start of Nsimbe Estate Limited. His achievements as a businessman and industrialist are endless. He has been a board chairman for many companies like Private Sector Foundation Uganda Limited, Insurance Company of East Africa, and Standard Chartered Bank, amongst others. His office is filled with accolades for his great works, and he has enjoyed each one of them, judging from the way they hang at almost all corners. Death has truly robbed Uganda of a remarkable businessman. Flores Nalimba and TV. There is a time to love and to laugh, to live.